Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to spawn on any island, a tarantula island. So first thing you got to do is shut this person up because she's ruining my intro for the video. But okay, the first thing you have to do is, uh, I'm, I'm sorry Ava, I didn't mean it, but I was, why did you have to start singing when I was doing my intro? But first thing we have to get a um, nook ticket to any island, uh, preferably a only single um, single island, single like level island, because th those are the ones that guarantee the tarantula spawns. Or you can just spawn yourself into a rare tarantula I island, but that is very unlucky. So, but we'll see what we get. Also, guys, before you go on this trip, make sure you organize your inventory. Of course, uh, I could organize my inventory a little bit better. Like, I don't need to take the ladder here, for example, um, and I don't need to take the wand or the timer, but um, I rather just keep them on hand so I don't have to reorganize them later. But if you guys want to min max on how much money you can make from tarantulas, uh, make sure, of course, you, um, you, you put them away. Unfortunately, guys, I didn't get a flat island, but no problem about that. Just get what you need from this island and just farm up some nook miles, which should take like five or ten minutes, and get to the next island. It's just easier as easy as. Seems like it's really hard to get a flat island, but you know we'll just take what we can and get to a flat island soon. The reason that we're trying to find a flat island is because it's got the most maximal maximum amount of chance to spawn tarantulas and also remember guys do this at around seven o'clock um because that's when they spawn that's when tarantulas and scorpions spawn so yeah i'm glad that i didn't get any flat islands but so i can remember to tell you guys this before um yeah before we before it was too late Yo, we finally found the flat island that we needed. This is a nice flat bamboo island. So what we have, firstly we have to do is pluck all the weed, guys. Make sure you pluck all the weed to um, make sure to to make the certain spawns disappear. And after that, we'll we'll come back. However, I quite enjoy my uh, bamboo island, so I might actually take a lot of bamboo home instead of a lot of tarantulas because. Um, even though the tarantulas are worth quite a lot, I'd rather have some bamboo in my place because I don't have too much bamboo. Of course guys, make sure you get all the minerals uh, during this, so like um, all the minerals that you need and also the rare bug catches that might spawn in a certain island whilst you're prepping for the island for tarantula spawn. Whilst you're doing this, you should also pluck all the flowers. Uh, you don't have to uproot them, just take the flowers basically and that will stop certain bug spawns which will increase the tarantula spawns. I wish I came to this island a little bit earlier so I can meet with panda villager. I really want a panda living in my village. I never thought I'll be saying this in my whole life but I really want a panda to be living in my village. I thought this, I, I didn't expect this game to be this good. So it looks like it's all clear of all weed and all flowers. These are not weeds, these are plucked flowers. So what you do next is just just drop all just drop the useless items um, to the side here. Uh, this won't affect the spawn rate or anything, just drop them out. And the next thing we have to do after that, just to make sure your inventory is clean, of course, right? And then the next thing we have to do is um, break these stones. So um, you, if you need the materials, you you can of course dig nine, dig two holes behind you and get the maximum amount. Dush, 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 dush. But if you don't need the materials, you can also just eat uh, a fruit that is on the island. Unfortunately, there's not many fruits here. There's only coconuts, so I'm glad that I brought some and just. Just dig it up, you know. Uh, you have to get rid of these uh, rocks, by the way. You just have to get rid of these rocks. So you can get rid of them without taking the nine um, thingies, but you can also um, just break it straight away. Yo, I must be the unluckiest mofo trying to do this, uh, trying to spawn a tarantula island because my axe broke and I didn't get enough normal regular wood to make another one. So I guess this island's a dud, man. 
Guess I'll be returning home very sad. So we finally cleared our island. I know this is not the most efficient island to get because it's got one elevation, but I'm, uh, but it does. Spiders, tarantulas should be able to spawn on this sort of island too. I'm just doing a little double check. Make sure you get rid of cockroaches and all the other insect spawns while you're here, because uh, that will stop the tarantula spawn if. Um, if they're around so make sure you just do a couple of laps around and make sure you just just make all the insects disappear and then eventually a tarantula will spawn like right there where it's glitched right into the wall Cut, trying to trying to trying to climb up the wall and it's noticed us so this is how you catch it just inch closer to it when its fangs are up make sure you stop moving and then just get closer and closer until you can snap it and you get it and you just do this until you have a bag full of tarantulas I think another way to increase the spawn rate is also to get rid of these but I don't think these are tied to any uh, any sort of like uh, encounter table so uh, the, these little patches don't spawn anything I think but you just have to make sure you just run around and just basically get rid of any bugs that may have spawned on the sides, uh, on the grass, anywhere, and then eventually you'll have a lot of tarantulas. If you want tarantulas, of course, but yeah. So I got my first tarantula spawn. There's a, there's a couple of bugs over there. Need to go up there to despawn it, and we'll record a few more runs of this, and, and then we'll probably go for a full until we get like a full inventory full. Ah, here's another tarantula, you see? Pretty easy, just keep on running up and down, left and right. Despawn any bugs that aren't tarantulas. And just slowly ease into the catch. Like so. And it doesn't really matter if you get bitten, of course, because you will just get sent to Dodo. And you won't be, get, you won't be sent back home. Which is very fortunate, so you can farm a lot of these. Of course I don't have the most optimal backpack for this, so you can make sure you get more optimal backpack for it by bringing less tools and only tools you need, but I just made sure because I had so many unlucky encounters making this video, so um, I just bought extras just in case. And after one more lap, there's another one. Let's prep ourselves. Oh god, th this guy was good. I walked too forward. But as you can see, yeah, I can show you off, like, deaths doesn't really matter, you just get sent here. And he's gonna ask you if you're right. And, uh... Yeah. Let's see if that spider de despawns though. And it has despawned, but anyway, just keep on doing laps until you get as many tranches as, as you need despawning all of these cockroaches, any of these little beetle bugs uh, around and you'll eventually get it uh, enough trench. Why you want to despawn these bugs is because uh, there is a maximum amount of bugs that can spawn in our island at a time so you have to lower the bug count so you can force a tarantula to spawn. That's basically what it is. Alright, here's our next specimen, guys. Easy. Another one goes down. That was, each of these is usually one lap around the whole island. Uh, the, the, this island's not particularly good for it because you know it's not straight flat, so you kind of have to use a pole and go up and down. But if you get a really flat island, this that's obviously the best uh, case scenario for for the for tarantula farming or scorpion farming when it is the summer. I think the tarantulas becomes scorpions when it is summer. Yeah. <laughs> 
나이스 Hey, I think there's one trapped in the wall as well. Is that one? Nope. But they love spawning in the walls though. guys i spent like an hour filling my inventory with tarantulas well as best as i could but if you guys optimize your inventory a little bit better you can catch more but you know during this process i was genuinely afraid of tarantulas because they were literally spawned anywhere and i was absolutely scared of my life of these tarantulas and i can't believe i spent an hour just swarming tarantulas that was really soothing I, I loved every moment of it and i'm actually surprised that i'm actually enjoying animal crossing but anyway guys this is how you get a lot of money from tarantulas and how to force spawn tarantulas in random islands which is really good to make money because you get eight thousand off of it so let's see how much i get out of this batch i know this is not the most optimal because i'm taking a lot of iron home and etc but we can see how much we can get Alright, let's see how these little tanuki boys will enjoy these many tarantulas. <laughs> let's sell them off. And yes, these fishes are definitely tarantulas too. Alright, let's see how much I get for those. Not even a full inventory full, I get 185,000 bells. With some fake tarantulas on the way, but they, they, they won't know, they won't know, they won't know the difference. And uh, yeah, that's already my new house extension paid off that's really nice so that's a really good way to make money and if you guys enjoyed the information i provided you with the tarantula spawning and all of my sad sad times trying to spawn the tarantulas please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and remember to keep afk farming peace out guys